Hey guys, Wolfie's back. We're out here at Site 3, Big Green. Came back by, double checked on her. Topped off the winter, winter food feeder block in the uh, Vivaldi box. It's almost always full as it was. You can see we just got bees for days in this thing. This is strong, healthy hive, or healthy colony coming out of winter. <clears throat> was a lot of moisture because for as much mildew that showed up on this the girls are doing just fine so what i did is i pulled out all the dirty frames <laughs> condensed the hive down took any fresh frames that were still had honey uh in them Packed them around the brood nest. That top box is swollen with bees. They're covering a good five, six frames in there. Easy. And then there's still more down in here working this box. The second box down here. The third box I just set off to the side over there. I still got to throw a couple frames in that to top it off. Get it ready for when they start expanding again. So... Yep, this is what we want to see. We got March, second week of March. Yeah, right here, it's the second week of March. And uh, just want to check in on these girls. <clears throat> this one's up on, uh, up in the tree line. That's why it's painted green. Just for the extra, just for the extra uh, solar heat energy. Since it's always in shadows. Didn't see much sunlight during the summer. <clears throat> and that's what I think I may do for all my hives is start painting them this flat green <clears throat> just to help them carry, keep warm in the winter time. Oh. Saw the queen. She's in there. She is laying. In fact, she Harry had some, some, uh, quite a bit of drone cells laid out at the bottom of the frames that we went, that I went through and I scraped out of good portion of them we don't need drones yet not quite yet we don't need anybody in there just garfing down the honey we still got about three or four weeks before things start blooming these girls will start being self-sufficient again and bringing in resources and and expanding again once that happens i'll i'll do a Pull a couple frames of eggs out of here. Shake about five frames of bees, depending on how big the how big the colony is at the time. Take them back home and get them to start rearing a queen, and then I'll bring them out for the second giga hive we're setting up out here. We've already got it all set up. I still got to bring the cinder blocks up, put that on, keep it out of out of the rain. Just skunks and stuff. Or, Make it harder for the skunks to get up there and get them. They'd rather go for the yellow jackets anyway, so they'll dig up the ground nests. But this, here she is, our big green, our giga hive, number three. Hopefully this year we can get her, get her up to four boxes. Try and push her into spreading to four boxes, and maybe make the top one a honey box and just harvest during the summer and then let them back fill at the end of September or middle of September leave them alone let them just start back filling this whole call the whole hive back up and get them ready for next winter oh, fun fun joy joy happy happy joy joy all right guys and girls just an update from the Rocky Mountains of Southeast Idaho Till next time, game on, Black Wolf Bees.